When a man is wrong, he shall admit his defeat. And I am such a man that I'm okay when I'm wrong. What's up, gamers? Your boy Beast Game Akuma here with an enthusiastic Wednesday vlogging post. That's right, it's Wednesday. You're probably gonna see this on Thursday. Whatever day you wanna check this out, it's up to you. But let's get this out the way. Please hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell to stay in the know. Let's get into this. So, let's talk back about the whole Tekken microtransaction, Tekken shop thing. Listen, like I said in the beginning, I can admit when I'm wrong. Because the thing is that most of us are not with a lot of information and thankfully some developers actually wants to shed some light because you know either there's too much bitching going on or you know they just want to make it transparent for those that are you know the customer the consumer and Harada actually went on Twitter to answer the question on why you have to add microtransactions to the fighting games because yes I'm too busy holding on to the past like many of you out there we hold on to the past so much but we also have to remember in the past we didn't have patches or updates. If we bought a game, that game was that game. Unless they did something, but we still have to buy a whole new game. Like, you remember Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when it first came out? Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. And then they decided to do an update to it on the same year. That was kind of frustrating, wasn't it? Yeah. But that's not a good example. I'm just saying, any other game, we would have to just deal with what we got. Right? Right. So, Harada brought up a great point with patches and updates online servers going around that costs a lot of money and he even said so prior to that that they don't hardly ever take a vacation because they always got to make sure the you know servers are maintained the game is working well so they have less and less time for free time because now that the world is all online and everything is can be updated on the fly especially when you hear a whole bunch of people cry about something they're just taking a break like we should sometimes we get all these problems and then that costs a lot of money. Yeah, servers cost money. Granted, I didn't think, see that's the thing. That was my own little, I wanna say ignorance. Is ignorance the right word? I don't know. I'm just wanna say that I was naive to think that fighting games didn't deal with servers because Tekken 8 got fight lounges just like Tekken 7 did. And being so, they are gonna need to maintain all that stuff. Same with other fighting games, which I realized, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. Some fighting games, well, not even some. This one particular fighting game was a bit greedy, and did a lot of weird things with their microtransactions. BOA six. That's right. I'm looking at you. Anyway, <laughs> no, real talk. I get it. I hear you, and I understand. And with that understanding, that's why I'm okay. But also, we also have to accept that you don't really have to buy into everything. If you got a favorite fighting character just support that fighting character and was that the Tekken shop is actually not that expensive was it 400 credits which is 399 so four dollars and change versus other people but it goes across the board the same thing with call of duty you don't have to buy every skin you don't really need to buy every skin the vanity did not give you fomo and that's the main thing that i've been battling this whole time ever since last year i decided that i am just going to be sparingly when i get certain games and i gotta fight the fomo and that's what it comes down to so yeah you're gonna see somebody with a cool outfit but the thing is that Tekken 8 already has a, an abundance of customization skills that you can do with your character with the stuff that you unlock inside the game anyway yeah there's gonna be some classic um skins to unlock and everything like that if you want to do that go for it but the investment will be sound when you think about it for a long time so yeah i'm on my end done bitching it makes sense harado is very clear and harado is very transparent with a lot of things but just to be clear, he's still on the whole thing about don't ask me for shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going back to the arcade quest where I ran into uh, Ghost Harada and fought his ghost and it was just the same thing he said. It was freaking hilarious and beautiful. I love it. But yeah, that's a, that gave me a peace of mind. I hope that gives a lot of other gamers a peace of mind too. You got to think on a broader scale because, for example, Power World. I brought a server for my friends and that cost me about $14.00 a month and that's only for 10 people i think yeah 10 people going any higher we're going to go up to like 30 something dollars for more than 10 people 
So when I'm thinking about that on a bigger scale, when it comes to millions of players on your game, that's a lot of servers that they're gonna have to buy to maintain all those people. Hence why we have sometimes that we can't even get into game. Even Hell Divers is going through it right now. Or uh No, Hell Divers, yeah, that's the latest one that's going through all that where a lot of people couldn't even get on. And you had the lag, which makes sense why lag happens, and then you have the local play where you gotta go into remote play to get your buddies to play with you. So honestly, I get it, I understand, and I'm here. So let me hear your thoughts on this. Did this give you a peace of mind? Maybe. Hopefully. I hope so. Tell your thoughts. If you still feel, I, I want to get some feedback. Let me let me get your feedback. All right. But other than that, yo, I will check out later because I got some games to play myself. And as always, beast out.